Hi, I'm Terry Cron with Heavy Duty Powertrain. I do the tech support on the electronic end of uh, L10, M11, and N14 engines. Uh, these are called electronic control modules and nicknamed ECMs. Today we're going to be talking about why uh, your engine uh, won't start if it's dealing with an ECM problem. First off, you need two things to happen in the ECM. Two things to check. One is power to the fuel solenoid. This is the easiest step. You simply take a voltmeter and connect it to check the voltage at the fuel solenoid. It's mounted on top of your fuel pump on the driver's side of the engine. And that should read battery voltage, which should be around 12 volts. Uh, we have found that if it reads even 9, 8 volts, then strange things start happening to the ECM. Uh, it doesn't have enough voltage to run correctly. It may start throwing fault codes and basically lie to you. So uh, what I suggest is to take that voltage reading. If it reads 12 volts, then that's fine. So the next step is to, if it's an N14, you simply get a little noid light. It's about the size of a quarter and uh, pull your pass-through connector up there by the head and the valve cover and see if your injectors are firing. It should be a nice bright flash like a strobe light uh, used back in the 60s a lot for uh, checking spark plugs. It should be a nice bright light. And you can check each cylinder if you've got just one cylinder missing, naturally. So, by doing that test, now if you've got an M11, you'll need a probe, which I don't like to see, uh, you know, a sharp probe going into the wire itself to see it, uh, if it's firing or not. But I guess you, if you have to, you have to. You may want to reseal that hole with a little silicone or something to seal it off so moisture and corrosion doesn't get in there. So basically, that's the first two steps. And a good Cummins mechanic, especially with the N14, will have a voltmeter with him and a noid light and an injector probe test just to see if you're getting power to the fuel solenoid and, get, and your injectors are fired. If they are, then you move on to something mechanical. If the voltage is low at the fuel solenoid and you're still getting some fire out of the injectors, then you take the wire off the fuel solenoid and you measure the voltage at that wire. If that wire is below 10 volts especially, I'm even concerned at 11 volts, but basically it shouldn't vary more than 2 volts from battery voltage. So let's say you're getting a measure of uh, 9 volts or 8 volts at the fuel solenoid. You take the wire off and it measures 12. Bingo. You need a fuel solenoid. And that can, it's going to make a big difference in your performance, fuel mileage, everything. I mean, it acts like a weak coil. The solenoid actually robs power from the ECM and it can work efficiently to fire your injectors and open the fuel solenoid all the way. And uh, also, the fuel solenoid, when it gets in a state where it's robbing voltage, it's usually not opening up all the way and it's sluggish, closing. And we found that and actually watched the voltage spike back into that ECM circuit and sometimes end up burning that circuit so bad that it destroys the board and we can't even use it as a good core. So fuel solenoid to me over the years it started out to be kind of important. Now it's turned into being one of the most important items on the truck to continually check for voltage differences and like I said, it should read 12 volts. If all of a sudden the difference uh, especially moves down to 7, 8 volts at the fuel solenoid, it's doing damage to your ECM. It's 
taking performance away and uh, so you definitely want to check that or at least at a minimum every uh, five years put a new fuel solenoid on. So that's how you check it and if the wire checks good voltage 12 volts at the fuel solenoid you might say well you really don't even need to check the wire separately you're fine there so your next step is to uh, take the wiring harnesses off the ECM and of course the last one that you get to is the injector harness it's mount closest to the block when the ECM is mounted and you should find four unswitched power coming from the battery uh, and that should read battery voltage 12 volts and then when you turn the key on you should find a fifth one uh, and if that all checks out good then you've got some other kind of problem and naturally it always you know look up and find out what your check engine lights are and find out what codes they are and uh, find out what they mean or call me and I'll tell you so that's a uh, good way of finding out if uh, you know if you got a miss and if it's an injector or if the truck won't start all together so you know good luck you might just have a bad fuel solenoid you catch it in time and uh, you know it makes a great day $75 fix and you're back on the road and uh, you got saved your ECM from damage and uh, so I hope that helps you if you want personal one-on-one, -on -one, I'd be glad to take calls 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do this for free. It seems to, uh, between the videos and the support, it uh, keeps making our business almost double every year. So I appreciate all your help, and I'll keep the videos coming. And our website is www heavydutypowertrain.com that's spelled T-R-A-I-N on the end. My number is 810-653-6300 our fax number is 810-653-8929 my personal email address is Terry Cron T-E-R-R-Y C-H-R-O-N at gmail.com and uh Get a hold of me one way or the other, and let's see if we can uh, work together and make your truck better. Thank you much, and have a nice day.